starting our aero trip here in Gothenburg in Sweden because here in that place at that moment history of sustainable motorsport is actually making and you can see behind me first in the world national championship of electric car racing It started in 1996 and uh, it's all been about combustion engines up till now where we we're always trying to follow the industry as well so that is why we wanted to go electric as well. We were very, very uh, sustainable in Scandinavia. There's a lot of electric cars uh, but there's still a transformation to be made and I think we can we can bring that transformation and it's not an easy deal to go racing with electric cars. It's been a, a bit of a struggle but it, it works it, and it works really really well. The new STCC cars are built to create spectacular, cost-effective and climber-smart racing. These cars are the most powerful cars in the history of the championship with the 550 horsepower acceleration is 100 km per hour under 3 seconds. It's like moment and you are driving really really fast. This is the Volkswagen ID3, uh, completely rebuilt for the STCC Championship regulation. From beginning it's a regular street car. It is a new challenge, I mean you have the power all the way, uh, you have those uh, road legal tires which we use uh, so we don't have any racing tires um, and uh, you mean you just have two throttles no gear box and so on so it's it's up to the driver this is my office so i have my steering wheel which i have the the most um, useful things i need to have i have the radio i have the driving so i can uh, push forward neutral and reverse i can change the mode of uh, the throttle so it's easier or hard, you know, you can, you can feel how, how the difference is with the throttle is. Uh, you have a pit speed limiter, which we use when we are going out from the tent to the racetrack. And as soon as we're gonna race, we always put in race mode. And then you have some, some buttons here where you start the car and so on. As you can see, two, uh, two pedals on the floor. It's the throttle and it's the brake. Um, yeah, that's like how sp spontaneous this car is. The interesting thing is that also we can see a lot of women in the uh, technical teams. Eh, jag är första mekaniker på denna bilen för Alexander Graf. Så jag har hand om bilen. Jag är den som har ansvar över bilen här. Det var ingenting här i. Nej. Här sitter lite batteri. Eh, så vi har själva 12 volts batteriet ner där. Och eh, sen så eh, jag har inte sett mycket mer. Det är bara kablar ju. Ja. <laughs> Men eh, jag har varit med i den här världen sedan 2012, så eh, det, det är vanligt för mig detta, så... <laughs> det är din vardag. Ja, härligt. Behind me you can see energy storage. This energy storage is full of real energy and you can see Econergetica mobile chargers. It's 10 plug chargers, uh, 30, 40 and 60 kV. They are charging electric cars with 45 kilowatts battery and uh, after charging they will go on uh, uh, and go and race again and uh, after racing weekend they will pack everything to truck and this truck is uh, going on biofuel and they will transport everything to another location where next racing, uh, racing weekend will take place. So it's totally electric. The transformation wouldn't be possible to make without great partnerships. I mean, we have the, the energy, uh, the power banks from Atlas Copco and then we have the chargers from Kronagetica uh, and I think that's also we we bring a lot of attention to safety as well. So, I mean, the chargers and the technique behind the chargers as well has made it at that level of safety that we need to have to, to run this championship. Intelligence, competence that is behind the, the company, uh, but also the software where we can uh, overview all the chargers uh, when we charge the cars as well. I mean, that's, uh, that's really something that 
we couldn't really get anyone from from any other manufacturer at that, that point of time. So I mean, somehow I, I think that's that's mainly why we got a good feeling, good partnership, and also that we can can bring safety as a uh, I mean the the main uh, purpose as well because safety is number one. I was very impressed um, in this racing weekend. Uh, we can see a lot of families with small children. So it was great for me to see that here in Sweden, in the Nordic region, uh, in mobility, uh, you have another level of environment of people and another level of environment about ecology, about uh, sustainable um, style of life in general. And total electric races, it mean not only electric car, but that mean that they are charged by green energy, by mobile chargers and all these uh, things are transported by uh, trucks that are using biofuel. So it's a sustainable approach, not only electric car, but fully uh, all organizations uh, approach to, to be uh, totally green. Being here, I just feel it's a question of uh, uh, people innovation and creativity just to find solution. And I believe in very bright future of immobility being here.